guys, I hope you're ready for some fall deep cleaning and decorating. I am gonna be decorating my front porch for the fall, deep cleaning my grill, trying out a new amazing grill cleaner, and also sharing with you our fall nighttime evening, evening routine. So I hope you're ready. We're gonna do a lot of cleaning. I'm gonna show you how I try to stay productive and on top of things, and we are gonna get it done together. Hey guys, I hope you're ready for some fall deep cleaning and decorating. So in today's video, I was planning on tackling the front of my house, deep cleaning, cleaning windows, cleaning my front porch and decorating. And I was kind of on the fence that maybe I shouldn't decorate our front porch. Decorating isn't my favorite thing to do, but we will be selling our house in the fall, maybe late fall, early winter. And so I thought that maybe it would be some good curb appeal. Also, fall is my favorite season of the year and I don't decorate my front porch or the outside of my house for any other season except for fall because it's my favorite. So I figured, enjoy it, Jamie, decorate your front porch for the fall and it'll look nice for the potential new owners. So I have found that a lot of people don't realize that cleaning and disinfecting are completely separate things. So some things you just need to clean, some things you need to clean and then disinfect. So with your laundry baskets, it's important to do both. So what I do periodically is I will take my laundry baskets and I will put them in the bath. I'll give my laundry baskets a little bath and I clean them either with some Dawn dish soap or Dawn power wash, whatever I have on hand. And then I spray them with some disinfecting spray. So I use the Jaws dis disinfecting spray. That stuff is really great because I feel like it doesn't leave a film. I also like the microban disinfecting spray and that's supposed to be great for, I think they say that if you spray it on a surface, it repels bacteria or it helps disinfect for 24 hours after you spray it. But I find that it does leave like a, a film on whatever surface I spray it on. So the jaws for me, I really like because I'll spray it on my laundry baskets or whatever I'm disinfecting and it doesn't feel gross or anything after I'm done.
So before I get started outside and cleaning our grill, which I'm going to show you kind of a two-parter to when I clean our grill and what I do, I wanted to deep clean our dishwasher and I use these afresh tablets. You can get them from Walmart or Target and it's just a tablet that you put in the, the dish, dish soap dispenser. Our dishwasher is fairly new. So typically when I deep clean our dishwasher, I'll clean out the bottom and the filter, but because our dishwasher is new, I didn't need to do that. I just wanted to run a clean cycle. So it's just nice because the Afresh box also has the monthly calendar. So you can kind of stay, make sure you stay on top of deep cleaning your dishwasher. So I was doing that before I deep cleaned our grill and went outside to deep clean the front of our house and decorate. So you're gonna see me here in a little bit deep cleaning our grill. So what I did was I took the grates and I wanted to soak them in the bathtub. I know that seems crazy, but it's just a, like the first step before I start scrubbing the grill grates. And when I put them in the bathtub, I lay down a bath towel to protect the bath. And then I'm gonna put in some Simple Green. And Simple Green is just a wonderful cleaner. It, they have a variety of cleaners and they meet the EPA safer standards, a natural cleaner, but it also decreases and cleans. And I like to soak my grill grates in that first before I start scrubbing. So I started out just by hosing down the front porch and then I was gonna clean the windows and the screens. And typically I use my window cleaning tool, but I know that not all of you guys want to buy the window cleaning tool. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try with just good old Dawn dish soap. So when I clean my windows with the window, window cleaning tool that I use, it has a squeegee and the scrubber on it. And I just use cold water. I think cold water is key. So cold water and Dawn dish soap. And so I was like, all right, we're gonna try cleaning the windows with just a rag and some cold water and dish soap. And then that way, if you guys don't wanna buy the window cleaning tool, you don't have to. And first I was gonna clean the screens and I did the dish soap and cold water and I was just scrubbing them down. And then I was gonna scrub the windows before I started decorating. Okay, so I need your help. Halloween is coming up. Isn't that crazy that it's almost here? Give me your ideas for my girls. So I know I have limited time that my girls, all three of them will want to coordinate their Halloween costumes. You know what I mean? Especially because there's a four year age gap. Like Avery's gonna get older and be very, she's probably gonna wanna do stuff with her friends. So I try to coordinate them every single year. So this is what they have been. 
they've been thing one, thing two, and then Avery was a Dr. Seuss. So they've done that. They Last year, Avery was the police woman and the twins were prisoners and she handcuffed them. So that was super cute. I'm trying to think. Oh, and then we also did Toy, Toy Story one year. It was amazing. Um, the twins were slinky dogs, so I connected them, which that was hilarious to watch. Toy Story. We did Toy Story another year. Um, she's been a witch. And so this year we're trying to find a costume for all three girls. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just curious. Like, can you guys give me your suggestions? What should my girls be? Um, if Avery doesn't want to be it, I'm going to let her be whatever she wants because I just, I want her to enjoy Halloween. I don't want to tell her what she has to be. So if you guys have any suggestions for three sisters, I kind of have thought about Hocus Pocus, um, but I'm kind of on the fence about that. So let me know your suggestions for all three girls. So another question I get asked a lot about is my workout routine. So I wanna share some of what I do and how I became a person who loves to work out, which I know is not ideal for a lot of people. A lot of people don't like to work out and I have not always been this way. So I'm gonna share what I do and how I became a lover of working out. I'll show that here in a little bit. All right, so you guys know my love for the Scrub Daddy and Scrub Mommy brands. And so I was browsing their website the other day and I saw this and I'm like, I need to get this because it's never fun cleaning your girl. Um, and it, be it came highly recommended by some of the cleaning accounts that I follow. So I figured we would give it a try. So you clean with steam, not bristles, because I've heard the other um, girl cleaner brushes, like if they have those bristles, they can break off and stick in the grill and get into your food. So those are a big no-no in general. And if you're not using that, it can be hard to find other appropriate cleaners. So I think this is their answer to that. But yeah, you just get a bucket of water, cold water, and then it uses the steam. You turn on the, you turn on the grill and it cleans with steam. So we'll see how this works. So I was just wiping everything down on the outside as it was heating up. So the directions say that you need to heat up the grill to 300 or to 350, but no higher than 350. So I was waiting for the grill to heat up and then you put cold water in a bucket or a bowl and then you just dip the scrub daddy thing into some cold water and then you go over the grates. And I just, I just like, I don't know, I felt like I could see stuff coming off of the grates and I really, really like this. So if you guys are on the fence, you need a good grill cleaner, I would highly suggest getting this. And I got this from the Scrub Daddy website.
Okay, so I swear we had a fall mat right there. I have no idea where it went. So we're gonna keep looking for it. It might be buried somewhere in the garage, but I can't find it. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not gonna buy another mat because in the new house, it's a double door. So we'll need a huge doormat. We'll need a huge doormat next year. And so I know doormats aren't that expensive, but it's just a waste to buy. I was going to put the old, like the everyday one there, but it's the same size as the as this mat and I like that for the fall. I want that sticking out. So I think we're just gonna go without a mat right now. I'm in the new house, but in the new house I get a much bigger mat and then doormat as well. So nothing too crazy. Just wanted to keep it simple so we have a little bit of curb appeal before we start putting our house up on the market. Um, we will be adding mums and real pumpkin so that's why I kind of kept it simple. We will be taking the girls to the pumpkin patch here in the next couple of weeks and then Avery School does a mum. They call them mumkins. I'll actually have a picture right here. Um, we order those through a fundraiser that we'll get at the end of September so I will be adding those for some color and fall porch appeal. But it's kind of crazy to think next year I will have a completely new porch to decorate. Kind of exciting. <laughs> um, I know this is dirty. I am actually gonna throw it in the wash here soon, but I just left it out here just so I can see it all done. So I've shown this before on my channel, but specifically because I have some really dirty rags with some grease on it, people will ask me how I clean my microfiber cloth. So I just kind of show you what I'm gonna do. Now, sometimes if they're really, really gross, but I'm just being <laughs> lazy to be honest with you, I will soak them, kind of like do like the laundry stripping and soak them but I don't feel like doing that today. So I'm just gonna wash them and we'll see how they come out. The process that I have does a pretty good job. So so I just put in microfiber cloth, that's it. You're not supposed to, wa you're not supposed to wash microfiber cloths with anything else because they will attract the lint or fibers from the other clothes or towels or cloths or whatever. So just microfiber, put them in there and then I will add in some OxyClean sanitizer, some Borax, which is a laundry booster, and then some powder tie. Okay, so I've talked about verb bars before here on my channel, but they came out with these new verb test kitchen bars. They're thicker and the reason why I tried them is because they have protein. So the other ones, so if you guys are not familiar what verb bars are, they're like an energy bar. They're like a chewy soft granola bar, but they have the same amount of caffeine, I think as a shot of espresso, like 80 or 90 milligrams of caffeine. So I like taking this like mid morning if I get up early and work out or in the afternoon if I'm just kind of dragging like I am today. If I'm, you know, on these days where I'm getting a ton done, I just need a little bit of caffeine and a snack. Um, I got these and they're really good. This is the chocolate chip banana bread. So it's 10, 10 grams of protein, 190 calories and 80 milligrams of green, green tea caffeine. So this is the consistency of them. They're really, really good. Like honestly, they taste homemade to me. Like I would think that this was a bar that was made at home really chewy i love the chocolate chip banana bread it's really really good so give for these a try if you guys like them i got all the signs but i couldn't run then i don't blame myself couldn't see Okay, so let's talk working out and what I do. So I will tell you that growing up, I've always been active. I've been I've been playing sports since I was little, probably about five years old. And in high school, I played three sports. I went to a small school 
and my kids go to a bigger school, so I don't think playing three sports will be in their future, but I went to a very small school. I had 70 kids in my graduating class, and so if you were a good athlete and you played volleyball, then they wanted you to play basketball and, and softball. We did not have soccer at the time, so that's how small we were. We did not have boys or girls soccer. So we had limited athletics, um, and I played volleyball in the fall, basketball in the winter, and then softball in the spring and summer. And then in the summer, I was playing all three sports in like travel teams because your high school coaches expect you to play those sports all year round. So I have always been a lover of athletics and being active. Now I will say that I went through a period after high school where I didn't like being active. And I think I was just a little bit burnt out. And I, I always like say this because I never want people to think that my parents, because you assume if you have someone who's younger that they were pushed to be in athletics. And that was never the case. My parents, in fact, asked me like, maybe you should cut one sport um, and just focus on one or two. And I never wanted to. So I always wanted to play all three. And I think it was because I had friends, I had a couple of friends who, like volleyball was their sport and they didn't play the other ones. And I had some friends who just love basketball and they didn't play the other sports. So I think that was why. But athletics has always been important to me. But in college, I I did not work out as much as I should have. I did not stay active because I just needed a break. And I think I was in like my mid-20s when I started picking up working out a little bit more and it was like a slow build. Like you don't go from doing nothing to doing a lot. So I went from doing nothing and then I just started working like running a mile and then it was two miles or just going to the gym for 15 minutes or 20 minutes and I slowly did that and now I feel like I'm at one of the highest levels of athleticism that I could ever be even when I was in high school because I truly enjoy it and I'll kind of share more of what I do here soon. So I mainly do running, um, but I, I highly suggest Caroline Gervin. I think that's how you say her name on YouTube. I've started her workouts. They are free. A, a friend of mine does it and she gets her butt kicked by her. There's other apps that I use like Peloton, OpenFit, Obey. They're all wonderful and it just depends on my mood and what I feel like doing. But if you're looking for something free and you just want to get started and see if you can stick with the routine, check out, check out Caroline on YouTube. So I actually made this the day after I was done cleaning, but it's cinnamon roll oatmeal. And my girls love oatmeal. I like serving it to them because I personally love oatmeal, but it's also healthy and filling for them. So I wanted to try a spin on a fall oatmeal and make it myself. So I will have the recipe. I got it from a website linked in the description, but it's so simple, so easy. It made my house smell like fall. The girls loved it. I do think the key is the icing so when I made it I feel like the just oats were just okay they weren't bad but they weren't super flavorful especially if your kids are used to the the packaged oatmeal um, but the icing that I added totally made it so good so yummy so definitely give it a try I'm done so I think what you're gonna so I think what you're gonna see next is our nighttime routine which I actually already filmed it because I was gonna do it just like on a random school night but then when I was sitting down looking at the schedule you know Avery's gone two nights a week for softball and Mike's always gone with her since he coaches so I'm like it would just be me and the twins and then um the twins have soccer practice one night a week and Mike usually takes them to that. So I'm like, there's really only four nights a week that we're home 
and on a Friday or Saturday night, it's not like our typical nighttime routine. So we only had two nights that we could typically or that we could film it. And so I picked it just a random, I just picked like a random Sunday and I already filmed it. So you guys should be seeing that next. And I hope some of the tips and tricks and just sharing some of the stuff that we do helps you out. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the night times fly by. I don't know how people, I don't know how, there's just not enough time in the day for evenings to get, to get it all done. Like I'm home, Mike works from home. So we're able to get dinner started at a decent time and we still have a hard time getting it all done in the evenings, like the reading and the homework and the baths and it's a lot for sure. So if you are understanding what I'm saying and you feel that way, I feel you, I get it. Uh, it's crazy. Night times are crazy. I'm sure it'll be get, get easier as the twins get older and they can like shower themselves. Like Avery gets in the shower, she showers herself. So obviously that's helpful, but nights are crazy. Nights are busy. We're just trying our best over here. And I'm always like afraid that I'm going to forget something. Like every day when I drop them off at school, I'm like, okay, lunch. Okay. Like, did they have to remember anything special for today? I just feel like my head is constantly spinning. So I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but we will get to that nighttime routine next. All right, so let's get started with this nighttime routine. So I set a timer every night for 6.30 p.m. So Alexa, our like Amazon Alexa tells us at 6.30 that we need to get moving on our nighttime routine. And so for us, I think we get so busy we get bogged down with playing or doing other things that we forget what time it is. So setting the timers is imperative to us staying on task and getting everything done. So with Alexa, we set a timer for 6.30 and she tells us, okay, it's time to get started. It's time to get started cleaning up. So this is what we're doing. We're uh, loading the dishwasher, cleaning up the living room, cleaning up the kitchen, getting those basic things done. And by Alexa telling us like, this is the signal. And what's interesting is even the three-year-olds, the girls know that when Alexa goes off at 6.30, it's time to get moving, get cleaning up before we go upstairs for a bath. So Alexa tells us at 6.30 it's time to get cleaning up. And then at 7 o'clock or right before, and part of the 6.30 is not only cleaning up, but Avery, pack your lunch. So I created these lunch packing stations so she can pack her own lunch. Now, does she do this every night? No, there are times that I do it for her. She's seven. She shouldn't have to necessarily do it every single night, but she does enjoy doing it and taking that autonomy and doing it herself. Um, so that 6.30 timer time frame is, okay, let's get everything done. So here I am filling out a paperwork or paperwork for the twins. They have a field trip. We have to send in some money and do a parent signature. Mike always has money on himself. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I never, ever carry cash. I am like credit card, debit card girl. I hate, like I never go to the bank. Mike always has cash on him, which is good because someone should always have cash on them. Um, but we had to send in cash for the field trip. So, you know, it's cleaning up, tying up loose ends, like um, lunches and things. And then I make the girls put their tote bags. The twins have tote bags. Avery has a backpack. I put them on the door so they're ready to go. And then I start the vacuum and we are ready to get baths. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. I'm going to be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at so typically when Mike Mike gives them a bath, he is the bath 
master. He gives them a bath. He's great at it. And I am typically folding laundry, putting laundry away while he gives them a bath. And then we tag team and get them ready for bed. What jammies do you have on? Um, um, Halloween. Halloween jammies? Yeah. What do you think about those Halloween jammies? Um, scary. Why are they scary? Because um, it's Halloween. Oh, it's Halloween. Do yeah. you have ghosts? Yeah. Say boo. I know it's nothing new. So at this point, Mike is finishing up Avery. So sometimes Avery will take a bath with the twins. Sometimes she wants a shower in our bathroom and she wants to be separate. Um, but either way, so Mike gets them all, like he washes them, he gives them a bath, then he sends one girl in. So Addison came in first. I got her ready for the bath and then Emery came in second and then Mike is finishing her up while I'm getting hair brushed, hair braided for Addison and uh, pajamas on. Now for toothbrushes, these toothbrushes have been game changing for us. I will have them linked below in the description but the twins are using these light up toothbrushes and I think they're a two minute timer. So they tell them how long they need to be brushing their teeth. Now, of course, we're there supervising, helping them, um, but they're just great because it shows them how long they need to keep brushing. And then Avery's toothbrush, which I will also have linked below, not only has a timer, but it vibrates and tells her when to move it around in her mouth which is important for older kids. So they know like, you just don't brush the back of your teeth and things like that. You need to brush all over your good, mouth. Good night, good night bears, good night chairs. Good job, Avery. Good night. Kittens, kittens, good night, and good night mittens. Good job. Good night clocks, and good night socks. Good night little house, good night little house, and good night mouse. Good night comb. Good night comb. And good night brush. Good night. And so we put them to bed and then I also created these uh, weekly clothes organizers or cubes. They're just like um, a closet organizer you can get from Amazon or Walmart and then I pick out the clothes each day for the girls for the week. Now I do the twins, I pick out their clothes, Avery does her own and then we just go in and supervise it. So we just go either Mike or I and we go in and just we say okay yep looks good. Night, night, girls. Huh? Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Don't <laughs> let the bed bite. <laughs> Love you, girls. And then once everyone's down for bed, typically Mike goes to the gym. I would say not every night, but he will go to the gym because he always wants to make sure he's home for the evenings, home to help the kids in the evenings and put them to bed. And then he'll a lot of times go to the gym or do some extra work. And if there's anything that I need to catch up from the day, this time is my time to edit and film. I usually get most of my editing and filming done, or I guess editing or answering comments done at night, or if I have some stuff to catch up on at home, like mopping, like it was a night that I needed to mop. It was also a Sunday, so I needed to plan out my week and I'm gonna show you what I do to plan out my week here soon. Okay, so I set timers on my phone to remind me. Clearly, I need a lot of reminders, and sometimes it's not even like I need the reminder to do that specific thing, but I just need the reminder like, get up and do this now, because if you don't do it now, you're not gonna get it done. So I set alarms on my phone for different times in the evening for myself. So get up, take your vitamins. I take magnesium, which is I have polycystic, polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, and I am always uh, deficient in magnesium, so that's why I take it, but look into it because magnesium has a whole host of benefits for specifically women, so I take that before bed. Um, then I take my allergy medicines and things like that. I take those at about 9 p.m., and I, yes, I set an alarm for it, 
and then I sit down and I plan out my the next day or my week and then I spend a timer for getting up and doing my nighttime skincare routine and then going to bed. So this is my planner. It's the Happy Planner. I've used the Personal Planner, which I love. I also love this Happy Planner. I got it from Michaels. And I sit down, I look at, okay, what I have going on this week, what I have going on um, tomorrow. This is my to-do list for the week. So I sit down and I create a one to five to do to do's every single day. I don't want to overwhelm myself, but like let's try to keep it realistic with what we're getting done each day. And so I plan out my week, one to five things that I want to accomplish, and then I write down a list of specific things I want to get done the next day. So that's what you're going to see me doing here soon um, is writing down. This is what I'm doing tomorrow. And so when I wake up, I'm not focused on the whole week. I'm not overwhelmed by what I have to get done this whole week. I am just focused on Monday and this to-do list right here. nighttime skincare routine so I always wash my face I put on some light moisturizing moisturizing lotion because I have oily skin and I put my anti-aging um, stuff on and I also use this dime beauty eyelash serum so I use the tretinoin anti-wrinkle creams of prescription so you have to be prescribed to it by a doctor but i use that most nights to combat those wrinkles that are coming as i approach 40 and then i brush my teeth and i'm pretty much ready for bed i use my lumino i use the lumino mouthwash at night i use the lumino toothpaste in the morning and then the Colgate whitening at night and then I always make sure that I put on my workout clothes at night because I'm telling you put your workout clothes on at night and then the next morning it's so much easier to get up and get working out if you're already in your comfy workout clothes and this is my night mask that I sleep with every single night and I spray my pillow spray my lavender pillow spray and it's like my own nighttime oasis but I think that's going to be it for today's video. So what I do is I get in bed. At this point, Mike's home. He didn't go to the gym tonight, but if he, most nights he does go to the gym. And then when he gets home, he'll shower and then get in bed with me. And this is usually where we'll watch a show if there's time. We just sit down and chat and talk about the following day, what our plans are. And that's it.